on brothers and sisters so this one <coughs> one in four canadians agree with euthanizing the poor not the sick not the mentally insane not the people that are so badly wounded they can't help themselves the poor among those 18 to 34 40 percent support death for poor people Euthanasia was supposed to help those with fatal illnesses, suffering great deals of pain, and in typical fashion has morphed into killing of teenagers and the depressed, and now half of Canadians would agree to allow adults in Canada to seek medical assistance in dying due to an inability to receive medical treatment, disabilities, fewer than 3 in 10 would consent to expand the guidelines to homelessness or poverty as reasons to seek medical assistance in dying. Canadians are split when pondering if mental illness should be a justification for an adult to seek medical assistance in dying. 43% support the idea. That's one in four on board with euthanasia for poor and homeless amongst the 18 to 34 crowd. That means that this is the next bar that they're measuring things with. It, it's it's absolutely crazy. And this is where their social justice goes next. This is where it, things that were in our ethical worldview based on a Bible, where we had some solid guidelines, those are all gone now because now we're run by evil and what's wrong is right and what's right is wrong. And anything to do with God, Jesus Christ or the word of God is out completely out like cookies in a orphanage not going to happen so because of that with evil holding the reins and the cars just chasing off the cliff now anything's possible pretty soon there can be like hunger games where we just get rid of large swaths of people because they're an irritation to the ruling elite and those who want to have their perfect little green world this world is evil it's run by madmen and it's absolutely lost its path in darkness, holding on to horned hands and thinking it's going to guide them to their own version of salvation where they become God. And in the meantime, they'll kill the depressed. And if there isn't enough depressed, they'll make them depressed by mutilating them and then help them kill themselves when they can't deal with the consequences of being coerced into this evil. And they'll keep attacking the truth and the light everywhere they find it. I mean, now being poor is a reason to be killed so that you can remove your strain on society. This is like a bad science fiction movie. But if anything, as bad as it is, it shows you how late the hour is and how everything is converging to the craziness you do not want to be part of in this final seven years. So spend time with Christ, grow closer to Jesus, shine your light. You never know when it's going to be your last opportunity to spread the gospel and to speak about our Lord and Savior. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.